Hi everyone, today I'm describing an infracochlear drainage of a petrous apex cholesterol granuloma. This technique was first described six years ago by Wick and co-authors with a case series of three patients. And on this axial CT scan, we can see the infracochlear approach clearly demonstrated in the patient who presented with fullness and pressure, along with some imbalance. On the axial T1 weighted images, this, it was bright on signal, and on T2 weighted images, bright on signal once again, consistent with cholesterol granuloma. And on this coronal image, we can see very clearly a nice infracochlear approach below the cochlea with the carotid artery and jugular bulb out of the way. Rubini and co-authors describe the infrapromontorial approach, which has the same landmarks, and it relies on the internal carotid artery being anterior, the jugular bulb inferior and posterior, and the fustus, the inferior border of this, as the superior landmark of dissection for the infracochlear approach. So in this patient with the left ear, we lift a tympanomiatal flap from 6 to 12 o'clock. The quarter grade 3 can be seen here with the annulus being elevated. And then the incredostopedial joint, the subcochlear canaliculus, and the inferior border of the fustus delineating our landmarks for where we need to approach the infracochlear approach. A underwater drill 3 millimeter diamond is used to create a canal plasty to extend access to the infracochlear region. And then underwater, a 2 millimeter diamond burr is used with the fustus being the superior border of the dissection. The drill, as well as a curette, can be used to expose at least 5 to 6 millimeters of the opening of the granuloma so that we can get nice access to the region. Here a magnified view of the opening can be seen. A tympanoplasty blade is then used to open up the cyst and drain out the brown fluid from within with cholesterol crystals, quite classical of cholesterol granuloma, as can be seen in this image. The opening is then suctioned and then widened with a tympanoblasty blade and underwater drilling with a two millimeter diamond burr to gain at least a five to six millimeter opening, which will hopefully stay open long term. The region is then washed with some 500 mils of body temperature saline to clear as much of the cholesterol granuloma out. Putting the endoscope in, we can see the dura over the brain stem within the cholesterol granuloma, and then the remaining granuloma remnants are attempted to be removed by irrigation with copious body temperature irrigation to clear the cyst out. A 0.13 millimeter silastic is then fashioned as a stent and placed into the opening and then this is unfurled with a drum elevator to create a patent lumen within this stent which will hopefully create a patent long-term opening. The tympanomiatal flap is then returned and the ear canal packed with gel foam and siloxin. And on axial as well as CT scan, two weeks post-op, we can see a nice opening infracochlearly here, just here, preserving the cochlea. And again, on coronal imaging, nicely preserving the cochlea. Thank you very much for watching.